Well, hello again, everybody. This is Rob for GearWire.com. We are taking a look again at Reaper and uh, investigating its features. Right now, we are going to take a look at the specific feature of channel aliasing. That is where uh, Reaper gives you the opportunity to give useful or helpful names uh, to your input uh, channels. Uh, that is to say, the uh, actual pathways that audio uh, takes to get into the uh, computer that you are running Reaper on. Uh, to get started with this, we go to the Options menu and we go to Preferences and make sure that audio is selected. Down here in Channel Naming, which is right here, we have the ability to uh, edit the names of the channels that uh, we actually have coming into the computer. When I actually click on Edit Names, I'm going to see uh, a total of two channels and two new channel names. That's because I earlier set these channel names or created these aliases. The native name of the two channels that come uh, that that this that come with this computer are of course left and right. Uh, if you double click a channel name, you are able to open up the edit alias screen and then change the actual alias on the uh, channel to a name more suited to you. Uh, I uh, change this one to stereo left, and I change this one to stereo right. Once you uh, go ahead and put that in, you are then able to refer to those channels in the way that uh, you are uh, it, you are able to see those channel names reflected elsewhere in the program using uh, the names that uh, using the aliases that uh, you created.